Outfit check. melted guys it was all back i thought spring was coming and last night it just showed up again all the snow from one night so pretty though anyways yeah gotta breathe in some fresh air today as well yeah <laughs> so nice so Today, I have a few plans, not too many. I am going to see my friend Elisa that's visiting from Portugal. She used to live here and we used to go to the same high school. Um, I actually saw her last week, but I'm seeing her again today with our other best friend, Ana Maria. So excited to see them again. But I think I'll go into town a bit earlier to uh, get a nice walk in oh, around sunset time. I think it's gonna be so nice. So now the body part is fully done. It's gonna be a big oversized sweater, I think. So the sleeves are coming. And I also already know what I want to do for my next sweater. It's going to be a bit more of a spring vibe. So I bought this sunless garn sundae, which is much thinner. And then I have this silk mohair. Can you see the fluffiness? I guess I'll show you that process when I start making the sweater.
afternoon guys. I am now in Humlegården, which is one of the biggest parks in Stockholm. I'm currently on the north side of Stockholm. I don't really spend much time on my own to give myself a time to think and reflect and just to cope um, time by myself. So I think this was actually a really good day to <laughs> end up spending myself, you know. Just bought a coffee, not to be cold. This is the 7-Eleven and Lucke collab coffee. Since they're doing a collab with Lucke, I feel like I want to buy it more often because their brew coffee is actually one of the best just convenience store brew coffees I've had and it actually doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes good, so just got that not to freeze, although I've already had my enough limit of coffee. <laughs> So I'm going to sit here for a while, catch the sunset. I think I'm going to go to the National Library. It's right down the hill, it's in this park. Which will be great because I don't want to barge into a cafe and sit there for hours. And they close at 6, so it'll be perfect. Hopefully the cafe is open, otherwise... I don't know. I don't want to be sitting in the silent room. It's very beautiful, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to be that consciously quiet, you know? Anyways, such a beautiful day in town. Oh, it snowed last night again, so I feel like the spring vibes are a bit gone, but the sky is so clear. There's not even one cloud that I can spot, so if you see this and you have a time to go for a walk by yourselves you should definitely do that it's so nice it's very cold so i'll be leaving soon but i think just the effort of taking time to do this myself um, is giving me like a healing day you know so i'll see you guys in the library hope you have a nice day whatever day you're watching this We're trying to watch the Asian Cup of South Korea versus Jordan because they have gone up the tournament very high. It's like a historical thing, but it's so hard with VPN. I don't know, nothing's working and um, we're willing to pay and can't really. I don't know, I think it's because we're stressed because the game has started. We've been searching for 30 minutes. We bought the pizza just for this. Hello. Good evening. It is the 7th of February and I just came back from being at a cafe. Had my alone time. So nice. Um, I was sitting there, had a really great view. Um, if you haven't been to Poma and Flora, you should. They have really nice acai bowls that I've tried before. But yeah, this time I could finally sit at the window place because they have an amazing arched window. So this was my view. Had the Stockholm streets is my view. It was so beautiful. But unfortunately they closed at 4 p.m. So then I headed to the cafe. I'm currently working it because my friend was there. So I sat there instead and then came home. I am actually a bit hungry, so for now I'm going to make a smoothie because we finally got a blender. So excited. It's actually like a food processor thing, but we have this cup that came with it and then we have, you know, this kind of blender that goes like this. So I'm just gonna grind some bananas because my bananas are not looking good. And I have some frozen berries. By the way, this is from Electrolux. We just bought it at Ika because Chabino is desperate in need of a cabbage juice. So just impulsively bought it last night. But yeah, 
But yeah, I restocked on my favorite milk. So we're gonna use this. the reels that I wanted to post I think I'll post it on TikTok too it's just me in my living room couch I did like a up review but I couldn't film it um, horizontally I had to film it vertically because we don't have tape and I couldn't put it anywhere besides in between the lamp um, <laughs> so that was that I'm gonna go on a walk because the weather is really nice. Blue. You can see. Blue with clouds. So it's perfect. Okay, and I really need to get some sunlight in while I have the day. Later, I also want to do some manifestation journaling or like setting goals. I got a new diary yesterday, so we're gonna do that. Hi guys, so I'm on my way home now. <laughs> I look like a <laughs> mushroom, but um, yeah, I'm listening to the At Lexi podcast and I went for some groceries. I'm going to make a Caesar salad at home because I want to implement more greens in my diet without being super hungry and then I end up eating snacks. So I bought some chicken as well that was already ready oops people my fear of filming in public whenever people show up anyways as I was saying today such a beautiful day the sky really cleared up and I think it's a bit past four but the sun is still up which is amazing this hasn't happened for over half a year so I'm very excited I had a coffee started writing in my new journal um, and then I read The Atomic Habits and so far, 20 pages in, I love this book. I am obsessed. I feel like <laughs> I'll talk about it a bit more. I want to read you some lines. Maybe you guys are interested in it too after I read you some, but it is so motivational that I'm going to get home, vacuum the whole house, have my snack, do some knitting, and then I'm even going to go to the gym for a workout. Mm -hmm. 
So I vacuumed, then um, I had to call my mom because it's 1am there and we wanted to talk for a little while. Uh, while I was doing that, I actually made myself a Caesar salad. I ate that up. Now I'm just watching a bit of YouTube and I'm knitting my sweater because I feel like I am so close. I will not be able to wash this today anyways um, because I feel like I'll need up till tomorrow to maybe finish it properly and I need to buy some wool um, shampoo, uh, wool detergent so I can hand wash this because you're not supposed to wash it in the machine. Also, quickly interrupting myself again, but I thought I would talk about the quotes that I read in the book Atomic Habits. So it's a book that talks about small habits that change your life, right? And I felt like I already knew what they were talking about before I read the book. When I actually started to read the book, it was a whole different thing. So this is just the beginning, so I'm not really spoiling anything, but I thought if this maybe gets you going, makes you interested, could help a little. One line was saying that it is so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. So like for me right now, sketching is very annoying because I feel like my imagination has died down. I need to activate it, but it's inactivated at the moment. And whenever I try to draw something that I'm seeing, it's kind of boring. I think of the whole process. I feel like it's so hard. So I just put my pencil down, which is not a good habit since I have to for my portfolio very soon. Yeah, I feel like all the things they're talking about in this book kind of it's like pointing at me. <laughs> Success is the product of daily habits, not once in a lifetime transformations, which is the same meaning as in the line before. Time magnifies the margin between success and failure. It will multiply whatever you feed it. Good habits make time your ally and bad habits make time your enemy. Which I guess I'm doing to my time. I'm making time my enemy because I feel so desperate with constantly putting off things that in the end I feel so desperate and so much pressure. And no one has put me in this situation. I have done this to myself, you know? So I think this is a really good book if you need an awakening. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm actually gonna have a No Social Sunday. I think um, I want to ask my friend Jay to join in it because she seemed very interested. Um, I did this before, like last year I did like cycles of no social Monday I think and I did it for about three weeks and that's where it ended. So first of all I don't have good discipline but we're still trying. Trying is better than not trying, that is what I'm trying to learn and yeah. So I just remember I had a lot of time in the day uh, to spare, I could get so much so many things done um, and I feel like when you start the day with a low dopamine strike you kind of are able to continue with the subtle day and you find the small things very attractive like sketching or reading or and I think it'll be good for me not to be on insta and just be present enjoy my date with Chavin yeah anyways back to knitting back to knitting